Hello, uh, Donna Cato here. Welcome to my channel. Now, in this basic tutorial, we're going to take our Skinner Blend plugs and we're going to turn them into beads. So you're going to need the plugs. And um, actually, I'm only going to do the rainbow. So, you know, basically you need one plug. You need some scrap clay. I've rolled it tightly into a cylinder. You're going to need a blade. Now, if you don't know how to make this, all you have to do is watch the two other uh, basic tutorials on the Skinner Blend, and you will know, and you will make one. Okay, first of all, I'm going to cut a slice off of my plug. Now, this I'm going to roll through the pasta machine to thin and elongate. So. The Skinner Blend edge, a Skinner Blend edge, will sit on the rollers as I roll through. Zero. Let's go through one. So you can see that I've made it thinner, just lengthened it this way. Not from one color to the other, but the blend itself has been lengthened. Now, as I look at it, I can see that there are, it's not exactly a perfect blend. So what I'm going to do is fold it and roll it a few times as if I'm continuing to make a Skinner blend. In fact, the goal is to make the quality of the blend a little better with a little less streaking and fewer imperfections in the blend itself. Okay, I'm going to continue to fold and roll. Now make sure that underneath your rollers, you don't have bits of clay. Okay, so that's better, but I think I can make it better yet by folding, placing the fold on the rollers, and rolling through. And I think I'll stop here. All right, let's take our blade and cut a nice clean edge. Now, this has been rolled through setting number four. And I will wrap it around. and cut off the excess. Like so. I'm going to make this bead with the two tapering ends. To make my life easier, I'm going to pierce the hole, the bead hole, while it's a cylinder. And I can see where the center is and go down. This is easier than shaping it and trying after it's completely shaped to find or drill the hole straight through. By doing it at this point when it's a cylinder, I have a nicer, more centered hole. Now I'm going to take my fingers and just gently push in. So I'm creating a slight indent in both ends, like so. Now I'm going to take the sides, the Skinner Blend wrap, and I'm slowly rotating and I'm pushing and pulling the Skinner Blend up over the clay core. Like 
like so. Now I will take and refine the hole so I didn't lose it, just to make sure that I haven't lost the hole. And I'll repeat at the other end, just pulling the Skinner blend from the sides up over the scrap clay beneath. You know, I had a longer needle, but of course I cannot find at this very moment. One day I will show you. Aha, uh -huh, I found it. Okay, so that was far from ideal. I've got to find that longer one. Or I have to make shorter beads. Just refine the area at the hole by dropping the clay into your palms and then rolling that area. little piece of lint. Okay, there you go. Now I've got my tapering, um, my tapering bead. Now if I wanted to make it round, what I will do is just push the ends in like so. Just keep working it and pushing the clay so that the center area starts bulging out. Every now and then you're going to restore the hole. And roll between your palms to refine the shape. Okay, so that's it. Now curing these is, um, it's simple. What I do is I take a little bed of uh, baking soda and I will just lay this in the baking soda. And I'll cure this for 40 minutes at 300 degrees and, and I start in a cold oven. So there's some basic, very basic bead making using a Skinner blend plug. So I hope you've enjoyed our time together. 
Um, if you like it, then hit the like button. If you think that somebody you know might benefit from it, then please tell them. And that's it. So there's more to come. There's more to come. I'll keep working on it. So thanks so much for tuning in. Until we meet again. Bye.